Here in the i button and in description box below we will get complete playlist of Laplace transform. Now I welcome to video number 45 and in this video we are going to see what is impulse unit impulse function or in some books it is written as direct delta function okay you will get this topic in every book but in certain books it is also known as direct delta function okay so we are going to start with unit impulse function yes from video 45 to video 49 we are going to discuss on this topic okay we'll discuss this topic we'll discuss about some properties we'll discuss about the laplace transform of unit impulse function and thereafter in last two videos we are going to solve two problems which is on this topic that is unit impulse function okay before starting this video i would request you to subscribe my channel and uh, if you learn something from this uh, from my videos or if you like my videos then please uh, press the like button and uh, share these videos with your friends okay yes so let us start this topic that is unit impulse function has zero amplitude everywhere okay unit impulse function has zero amplitude everywhere except at t equal to zero okay it means if you yes you can see the amplitude of this unit impulse function is zero always okay except what except where at t equal to zero okay if you remove t equal to zero you will see unit impulse function amplitude of unit impulse function as zero always okay but at t equal to zero what is at t equal to zero but at t equal to zero the amplitude of the function is infinitely large okay the amplitude of the function is infinitely large such that the area under its curve is equal to one unit okay is equals to one unit okay here in the graph you can see yes this is t and this is delta t okay what is delta t unit impulse function or direct delta function okay yes you can see apart from this zero you will see the amplitude of this function that is unit impulse function what zero okay but at t equal to zero you can see yes the amplitude is what infinitely large okay the unit the amplitude of the function okay at t equal to zero is what infinitely large such that the area under its curve is equals to one unit okay remember this value okay hence it is defined as delta at t equals to zero okay delta at t equals to zero okay t okay t is what t is not equal to zero fine delta equal to zero when t is not equal to zero fine yes and also there is another point that is integration minus infinity to plus infinity delta t dt is equals to one when one when t is equal to zero okay at this point okay at this that is t equal to zero you will see integration minus infinity to plus infinity delta t dt will become what one okay now coming to second part that is delayed or displaced part okay that is similarly on similar grounds we can say like the delayed or displaced delta function or you can say unit impulse function that is delta of t minus a okay what is delta of t minus a delayed or displaced unit impulse function or you can say direct delta function represents the function delta t okay this is going to represent the same function delta t but okay which is displaced by a distance a to the right okay basically we can say when delta t is displaced by a distance of a to the right then it is represented as delta of t minus a okay yes so here you can see in the graph i have shown yes this is uh, this x axis is t and in the y axis it is delta of t minus a okay yes since it is displaced okay displaced by a distance of a so you are going to get uh, yes the uh, amplitude okay at this point you will get amplitude as infinitely large but other than this okay other than other than t equals to a you will get amplitude as how much zero okay so delta at t minus a equal to zero okay delta will be zero or amplitude of this will be zero when t is not equals to a okay but when t equals to a then integration minus infinity to plus infinity delta of t minus a dt will become what one okay so remember this these two points okay and also these two points also so, okay what is delta direct delta function this is what this is unit impulse function okay so i am stopping this video here in the next video we are going to see some properties of unit impulse function okay so thank you so much for watching this video thank you